Okay, hello, it's the Music Wizard here, also known as Cool Dude Clem. And I thought it was about time I reviewed some free VSTs. And when I say free, I mean free. There is no cost, no pirated stuff, no hidden fees, no demos, no time-limited trials, no crappy stuff, no shareware, no bundleware, no viruses, and most importantly, they do not require contact, dongles, or any stupid crap like that. So first we're going to cover synthesizers, then real instrument VSTs, and then a few effects, and these are all free. So I can prove to you that you don't need to spend countless amounts of money. Now I tried to do this video earlier and I waffled on for hours and hours and hours about each one, so I'm going to try and keep this quick. Just a brief description of each VST, a little demo of it, and then I'll move on to the next one. So here we go. Okay, so the first synthesizer we have is the CFA Super 7, which is basically a super source synth with filters on it. I know that's probably the worst description you've ever heard, but I'm going to play something and go through all the presets so you get an idea of how it sounds. Next up we have the Cheese Machine. Now this is supposed to be some kind of string synthesizer, but to be honest it's better for pad-like sounds. Alright, now we're cooking! This is a two-voice additive synth. It's got various waveforms, and one waveform can modulate the other one, and also low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass filters. And I've used it here to make a pretty good accordion-like sound. Ah, here's a favourite of mine, Dext. So what this does is emulates the Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. Now if this interface looks intimidating, well, you're not alone because I don't understand what half this stuff does either. But, if you have ROM dumps of the original DX7 cartridges, you can actually load those into this VST and play with all those old sounds that people used to use way back when. Such as that infamous electric piano sound. Need a Juno 6? Well, here's the next best thing, 6th month June. And everything is there from arpeggio to chorus. Now here's something really vintage. Korg Delta Strings in VST format. Simply called Nabla. So the strings is a sort of sawtooth-like wave. And the synthesizer part is a square wave generator which generates the fundamental square wave along with several harmonics. And yeah, you've got the filters that you could expect on the original hardware as well.
And for lovers of those 80 sounds, myself included, you cannot go wrong with PG-8X, which is emulation of the Roland JX-8P. Now for something really vintage, RA Moog, which emulates the Mini Moog synthesizer. So we've got those lovely squelchy pitch glides and uh, just about any other kind of sound you could make on the original hardware, you can do here. Strings about as simple as it gets, Safwon strings. No settings or anything to adjust, just load it up and play. Next up we have String Theory, which is primarily a plot string synthesizer, and with not one, but two arpeggios, it can produce some interesting sounds. For more strings and pads, there is this VST simply called string synth, which can make anything from simple synthetic strings to lush evolving pad sounds. Now when it comes to synthesizers, I prefer the ones that provide vintage sounds. And Tal Uno 62 is no exception. So as the name suggests, it emulates the sound of the Juno 62, and here's one of my favorite sounds. And of course, no synthesizer collection will be complete without drums and bass. So here we have Tal Baseline, and does just what it says. Plus, with the arpeggio feature, you can do single finger bass lines like this. So onto the two most iconic drum machines of electronic music. First we have TS-808, and no prizes for guessing what that emulates. Also another one for 808 sounds is Tromine GT. Need a 909? Well then, there is MaxSynth's DR910, and this is about the most accurate emulation of a 909 that you'll find for free, and it's pretty damn good too. Another one I like is Tramines, or however you pronounce it, although you will need to load in your own hat and cymbal sounds. Finally on the list of synthesizers, this one I forgot about until now, Tyrell L6. I mean, Tyrell N6. And this is made by someone who usually makes paid stuff, so you know it's gonna be good. 
So first thing I like about this is you can actually vary between the different waveforms rather than just change from square to saw or whatever. And there's a bunch of different presets you can use. My favourites of course being the ones that replicate 80s sounds. Because I'm an 80s guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop now because this has gone on longer than I expected. So I'm gonna break this up into three different videos. This one being about the synthesizers. Next one is gonna be about real instrument VSTs. And the next one after that is gonna be about effects. So I'll see you in those videos. And until next time, goodbye.